Hello! Thank you for the follow, Ryan Curtis. You have reminded me of an error I must fix up. Thank you for it. I'll be back in a sec to now fix that exact thing. Okay, I think I've made the change. It's been a while, so hopefully I did it correctly. But hello everyone, how y'all doing? Do I sound okay? I have my audio levels up high. We haven't streamed in a while. Um, I've also changed a little bit of the music volumes, done little things. If I sound like a robot, now's your chance to let me know. Hello, a movie lover. Hello, Will Sakura. Hello, Tech Sec TV. Fiddlesticks, nice name. Mr. Bot 9888, hello. How you doing? You're sounding good? Sweet. That's good. That, that's a rare occasion. There's usually always something going on on these streams. Things will be faintly different in the setup I'm doing for this stream. Um, so excuse me if I am a little rough around the edges. I'm always trying something new, always doing a little bit of experimentation, but I mean, so far, things have gone quite well. Streamlabs hasn't crashed on me. Everything says excellent. Music sounds good, my voice is not robotic. I've discovered if I don't use my microphone for l more than two days, it will without fail glitch out such that my voice becomes like a robotic glitchy mess. The only- it happens consistently when I don't use it for two days. It's very strange, I don't know, maybe dust gets in somewhere. But there you go. Ah, Mr. Bot says, can I ask you a question? You sure can. Just shoot it on at me, and if I don't want to answer, I'll ignore it. But I, I probably won't. I don't think I ignore questions very often. Not intentionally, anyway. You sound fine. Thank you very much, Samuel Vehicles. Hello, Juice Goatman. Is this the new Dark Septicai? Or anti Ah, uh, I don't think I'm evil right now. <laughs> Why do you not send the link to your Discord in your new videos? That's a good question. There is a... Uh, there should be. It should be in the description. Um, unless you mean like pinned at the top of a comment. 
It should be. It might just be something that I've overlooked. I have been very uh, occupied over the last week. I'll, you'll get to learn it all in a little bit. Let's see if this works. Hey, how you doing? I realize I'm a little off to the side. How you doing? Things actually look kind of similar here. Things are not very similar here if you are a regular at our Daz Review streams, because if you're not in the know, uh, I am moving out. Everyone's moving out of this. I think like um, Call Me Kevin recently moved away, um, and a lot of my friends I know are just moving in general, and I'm joining them. This is one of the final pieces of anything on my walls right now, and you can tell that it's a bit of a dicey situation. Can you see that color? That hint of color? Yeah, that's behind the wall. We... I've learned how to plaster up walls and paint over it so that I haven't made an error. I'm gonna have to do it pretty badly there. <laughs> um, I'll show you a little bit of it in, the, in a little bit. I'd like to highlight it, but um, yes, that's what's basically going on. Love the new setup. White. Yes, very... how very uh, modern, eh? But there you are. Hello, this is my first time here, says Fiddlesticks. Well, welcome. Um, this is going to be a little bit different to our usual streams anyway. Usually, what we've been doing once a week over here is we will go through um, and look at any like recent movie-related kind of news. It's more just trailers. If a trailer has come out in the last week since the last stream, I will react to it and tell you my thoughts, do a little bit of analysis live. Um, and then if I've watched a movie, I will do a review of it. Uh, we're going to do not so much of that this time around for a couple of reasons. For a start, I am a little bit sort of tired, low energy. I've been doing a bunch of moving gear stuff. So this is just going to be more of a just chatting, chill stream, if that's okay with you. If you want to have a discussion with me, now's your chance. Hopefully I'm wearing this shirt the right way around. Okay, cool. I just realized, I was like, there's no graphic here. I have a graphic red shirt. I was, wasn't sure if I was wearing it inside out. Um, but yes, if you want to chat to me, this is your chance. I mean, I'll be chatting in all of these anyway. It's the vibe I'm going for more. On top of that, I've been gone for a couple weeks, I think, and there are no real trailers to talk about. There are three. I've got three listed down, and we're going to watch them slightly differently to how we usually do them. Usually, I will have them downloaded, and I will watch them in my editing software, but it always comes with weird artifacting. So I'm just going to do it the classic way, where I'll just uh, display record, and then just watch it off YouTube. Just use a link, do it like everyone else does it, because it works better. Surprise, surprise. Um, so those are the two changes. But yes, there hasn't been many going on. There are a lot of movies that came out in the last couple of weeks. I watched one of them. I watched Space Jam 2. But I think it's already kind of fallen off of the internet ethos already. It's already outdated, you know? So I don't really want to do a review on it because I'm super late to the party. And then after this stream, I'll still have to have it edited down. It'll take another week. So it's just... I'm just not going to review it. I can tell you my thoughts if you really want to know, but I won't make it an official thing. Also, like, Jungle Cruise came out. I haven't seen it. Uh, Ghostbusters didn't come out. That got a trailer. Uh, something just came out. Um, Black Widow. I, I did a review on last time. Something's just come out. What was it? Sui the Suicide Squad. I haven't seen it. I have friends that have recommended it. Never gotten around to it. So, there you are. Fiddle sticks. I see you've put in a thing. It's supposed to show up on my screen here. Why is that layout different? Hold on, let me uh, have a poke around. This is far too energetic. I've just lost a a window. Okay, hold on, let me fix that then. Where, where is it gone? Why did I delete it? Where do I get it? Ah, oh, well, I guess I'll just have to do it by ear. I don't know how to even redeem it. I'm super sorry. I will, I will do your random sound effect as you requested. Usually it's a recurring thing. But it has literally vanished. Do I do it there now? Have they changed the system? Reward queue. There you go. That is what I'm after. Can I, like, plug it in? No? I'll just have it on a separate tab. All right, then, sure. All right, fine. Uh, leave that there. Oh, I've got a handful from last stream. Let me get rid of that. There you go. Fiddlesticks, you requested a random sound effect. We have ourselves a stream deck. It comes with many buttons. Here's a sound effect with a hash or a button that has over 2,000 random sound effects. What do you get? A very weird, interesting one from, I think, Link's Awakening or something. There you are. Enjoy. Hope it was worth it. 250 channel points. A fun little thing to do on the side. I remember you analyzing the trailer. Yeah, I, I do them. Uh, I used to do them as main videos, but they're very hit or miss. 
So I'll be doing them streaming instead, and then we'll put it onto the second channel most of the time, essentially, is how things will go. I am very distracted because I'm looking at, like, the big stream preview, and it's way, way desynced. Can I also, like, make this smaller? I don't want to look at it. Thank you. That's much better. I have now hidden the other. Oh, God, it's been a while. What? Why has this all gone grey on me? Why can't I not do any quick actions? Ugh, alright, there's always something going wrong, eh? There you are. What Pikmin game is your favourite? Number two. It's technically the worst one game design-wise, but I like it a lot. In fact, I'm so into it, even though this is a completely different game. It still exists in some form on my channel. In the form of a little mug that you got for Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I bought it three times to support the franchise. It'll never get another thing, other than Pokemon uh, Pikmin Go. Anyway. You know, I'm surprised you had more viewers on here. Why is that? Um, I think it's because it's a side thing. Haven't been, like, marketing in it too well. And I think another thing, I, uh, there's, a, there's a handful of things we'll be changing. We're doing Twitch more and, like, changing the formula. Um, but one of the things is I do it very casually. I do it once a week for four hours just covering trailers. Uh, what I would like to do in the future is do a lot more streaming. In fact, it's a specific new... Thank you. Will Sakura, thank you for the follow. That's the that's how it's supposed to look. We're also gonna be changing that, but yes. Um, I'm gonna be making changes in the new house. As we move, I'm gonna like reshuffle everything. We're gonna be streaming more. We've got loads more ideas in different formats. Some of it's uh, movie, some of it is gaming, some of it's more just like good twitchly stuff. We're just gonna blaze through it, you know, and see what we can do. It will be the next season of streaming. We're currently in season one. And then when we move to our new place, it'll be season two. But I'll explain all of that either later in the stream or just when the time comes. We will see. Hydrate from Movie Lover. I shall give. We have another way of doing that too. Um, although I think Movie Lover, you might be aware of this. But hey, this is for fiddlesticks to find out. What we do, we have a little jingle for it. Ain't that nice? Cheers. I will also, in the new place, actually sync up so that the music I hear, and the music you hear, is actually in sync. So that I could actually do that little bit in in sync. That would probably be a good idea. But I remember back before I, when I streamed like three years ago, I did manually sync everything because they're all slightly desynced by different amounts. And it was a pain to sort out. So I was just like, screw it. It's close enough. It will do. But oh well, we will bring it back at some point. Looking forward to the move? I am. I am so sick of where I live now. The house is nice. Um, but I've just been hyping up the new place in my mind. I've got a million lifestyle changes. There's going to be stream changes. Just every change under the sun I'm doing. And I'm just really excited for it. Because also, you know, we've had a whole year of lockdowns. Uh, I'm kind of ready to get out of the world. So this is like, in my mind, my jumping off point. Um, on top of that, a uh, subject that came about recently, uh, that was a bit of a surprise for me, is about a week ago now, yeah, a week, a week today I think, I got my, uh, my second dose of the vaccine, which is great. Usually you have to wait eight weeks in between, but the NHS just texted me and said, hey, show up two weeks early. So I did, and now, now I, well, I mean, I can't do anything yet, but by the time I move, I'll be all, all protected, which would be very nice. Um, so that will also be like, cool, I am ready to actually be done with this. So I'm very excited for all that. What's your opinion on Portal? Big fan, love Portal 2 even more. One of my top five games probably. Although there's a lot of incredible games, but big, big fan favorite. I let's played them both back in the day and I would love to one day do the whole uh, co-op campaign, but haven't done it yet. But one day, you never know. Maybe, maybe it will work out. We shall see. Fairs, exciting times, yeah, absolutely. Um, it should be very fun. In fact, uh, what I can show now, actually, of this place that we've got now, I'll show you now. Why not? The place is very much different to what it used to be. Obviously, this looks about the same. The only thing that's been lost recently is the hint of blue that used to be our setup because we had to get rid of the LED lights. But we've gotten rid of a lot more things since then. So let me, let me give you a brief view. Let's get a good song for this. That's not a good song for this. Why am I getting bossing? Sure. Look at our wonderful room. If you remember it from like eight months ago, bring that memory out when the, when the camera looked that way. All right, you get the Flintstones theme remix, but here you go. Wow, 
it's all empty and covered of boxes. Just boxes and boxes. And then just nothing. Wow, empty floors. There you are. Don't know how well you could hear me just saying boxes and boxes. And yes, that wasn't sponsored. That was just... We get one box every week, we collected them to fill stuff up. But the house is basically empty. Um, only the last little things have been going on. We just like HelloFresh in this household. This is not a sponsorship with HelloFresh. HelloFresh as a service sucks. And if there was any kind of rivaling company that did anything similar, I would swatch, I would switch on over to them immediately. Or at least especially the branch here. I keep trying to order myself, I don't know, a hot dog and then the sausages don't arrive. I ask for something with beef in it, and the beef is outdated by the time it shows up. I show up and I'm like, hey, can I have some garlic? And I'm like, cool, there is no garlic. I show up, the box is half wet and it's all broken up, and I'm like, great, I can't use anything here. I can't move in with this box, chuck it out for the week. Sometimes I'm like, cool, I could do with eating some leeks in this leek-based meal. And I'm like, no, you're gonna have celery instead. And I'm like, that's not a replacement. They're very bad. Also, they'd never give you eggs, but they gave us a brunch that was Eggs Benedict without the eggs. And I'm like, why would you... Why do you have- why is that an option if there's no- why do I have to bring my own eggs? Now I have to go to the shops like the whole reason I wasn't going and getting this service in the first place. HelloFresh sucks. Especially here. HelloFresh are actually very comedic in this household in that every single week there is one thing wrong. Consistently. I don't think I've had a perfect box for what I've ordered once. You know, um, there's always been a box that's arrived at least. But, like, sometimes, every time an ingredient is missing, sometimes the recipes aren't there, sometimes two of them are missing, sometimes all of them are missing, sometimes meat is literally out of date, they, ugh, disaster. All of them are disaster. Thank you for the posture check, fiddlesticks, there you go, I shall, I shall give it to you there. Um, but yes, on top of that, actually, we've had another mini nightmare with this current house. I don't need another mainstream remix. Um, one of the things we've had to deal with is house viewings. Um, we've, oh, I think it's only just come to the end of that. Thank you for the follow, Mr. Bot. Welcome. Um, so obviously, you know, when you, when you finish up with a house, you will get house viewings for, you know, trying to sell to the next person. Uh, the issue is this flat that we're in isn't really very good. It's great for us. When we saw it, we were like, this is a steal. We can sort of mini renovate it as rent as kind of can to make it a fantastic place. So basically, it's a one bedroom place right near the city center, right? I won't go too into details about obviously exactly where. But, well, I mean, I'm just leaving, so I guess it doesn't matter that much, but I'll, I'll be safe. Um, but as you've seen before, we have a, a big cupboard. It's like its own little room. And we could stuff a desk into it. So we've turned it into not really a two bedroom place, but it's a place with a bedroom, a front room and another room, which is fantastic. That's two offices. I mean, this is the front room that I've turned into an office, but we turned the cupboard into an office. So as a professional couple that me and uh, Keza Chi are, that's fantastic. What a steal. We got it at reduced rate. It's fantastic. For anybody else, this place sucks. It's, and if anything, the office that we've turned the cupboard into looks worse now because it looks like it's supposed to be a room, but there isn't even enough room to move a chair with wheels on it in there. So I guess on top of that, though, this is an old flat. You know, we still have a gas oven where the stove is too hot and the oven is too cold all the time. The, the place is old. The walls have just been repainted over and over again to avoid people doing this all the time. Um, there are cracks in places, you know, there's lots of small, minor, like, repair works to be done that will likely lose pieces of our deposit over. It's a hard flat to sell, especially because also, for the price that it's, it's now been also upgraded in price, because the landlord wants to bleed money out of this dying place. And, um, from that, uh, you can get a two-bedroom with the same specs at the same price. So it's just, it's a little overpriced, it's really old, and it's furnished, because we're here. And they have been doing house viewings since June 10th. We've been going through house viewings for two months. 
just constantly, once or twice a week. It's like, alright, cool, we work from home, now we gotta clear the whole desks, polish everything, because they complain when it's like not dusted away. And it's like, oh my, for, for two months we've been dealing with this. Um, so, as of literally this afternoon, this evening, um, I had to turn around and say, alright, next house viewing that you've got coming, cancel it, we, we are unavailable at that time anyway, but also, please wait until we move out. We have to, we have literally packed up everything else. All that's left is the furniture that we are going to dismantle to put in the van. So, um, stop showing up at our door, please. Um, so hopefully, that's done. Two months of house viewings is far too much, and clearly, clearly, they can't sell it. So, like, stop burdening us. You know what I mean? Um, so there you are. Am new here, do you live stream games? I do, Mr. Bot. Yes, um... Today, we are not planning to, um, but in the future, we absolutely will. I would like to do a... we did a little bit of it earlier. Um, we're wanting to do um, movie video games, like we do video game adaptations into movies on the main channel. Now I think it'd be cool to do the reverse on the second channel. Um, and actually, I got a little bit of a uh, response that I only just found out a couple uh, minutes ago. Um, we might find success and, like fortune in doing more of those uh, because the VOD for the Incredibles game that we did last time I was streaming um, it's actually got more views than all my other VODs so there is an interest there which is good there wasn't as much when it was live we will see how that turns out hello Lewis gamer how are you doing my apologies for not streaming as much as I usually would we will be streaming more thank you for the sub for three months with your Amazon Prime. We're on, two me on a two month streak, huh? Nice. Thanks. I appreciate it. You're a super fan. Well, I think that's more of a YouTube term than a Twitch term, but there you are. Super appreciate you. Thank you, my dude. You will get more value for your money soon. Um, I, I'll reveal pieces of the new schedule, I guess. Um, I will, obviously, try to enjoy the moment as we are now, though I am... I guess I'm in the transition phase. There is one stream, obviously, today, and then one more stream here. And then the stream after that um, will be in the new place. Um, but we are streaming more in said new place. We'll be doing uh, three streams a week, I believe. Yes. Yeah, three streams a week. Um, I won't tell you the exact times and days because it will get confusing with what's now. Uh, but they're all going to be different sort of formulas. formulas. It's going to be more like um, season zero. More like how we streamed in December. Um, but a little bit different. You'll see it as it comes about. There's a million plans going on. Um, also, though, similarly, I haven't been streaming recently in the last couple weeks because life's getting busy again. Um, I was beckoned out of my house, I think, for both... No, it wasn't. Two weeks ago... No, I can't be. Yeah, okay, two weeks ago I was beckoned out of the house. That was it. Um, so I wasn't available to stream. And then last week I was ill because of the second dose of the vaccine, which does hit like a train. Um, though, to be fair, I had also gotten zero hours sleep and I just stuffed myself with dominoes, so I was very ill. It felt like a liquid headache. I don't get headaches, but like, you ever seen um, Legend of Korra where they've got like lead poisoning or something and it's literally just like liquid metal that like goes into her body and makes her, I don't know what, just destroys her. I felt like I had like lead rolling around in my frontal lobe or something and it's just like, ugh, it was moving and like liquidy. It was very strange. Wouldn't recommend, but would recommend the vaccine. Get it done. Because not everyone has symptoms like me. It was probably the lack of sleep. Interacting something else. I don't know. Um, but there you are. Have you heard of the Ratatouille game on the PS2 or PS3? I think it's on. I have. Pixar games. We will probably cover one day. I would not be surprised. Hello, Epic Tiger. How you doing? You got any movies that are so bad they're good? Oh, I do. We... I have just finished writing a script for a video that is specifically that. I'd love to tell you what it is. I have the physical copy out of view. If you're lucky, maybe you saw it when I was turning the camera around. It is high enough to be seen. So use your memory and that will be my recommendation. If it's not on screen, I apologize. I lied to you. You'll see it when we make a video on it next Friday. Not this Friday, the one after. I believe. It should be the system. Um, so there you are. Have you seen the King Richard trailer? I haven't, and I didn't actually have it listed down, but you know what, maybe I will add it, because there are so little trailers to go through. Um, although I also don't feel like doing the trailers yet. I would like to have 
I just like chilling for a bit. We've got a bit of time. Um, although also I imagine the stream might be a little bit uh, shorter today because there is so little main trailer content to go through. Um, but we'll see. So, uh, yeah. I was like, oh, I was just sorry. I was scrolling through the bit of chat that was like reacting, I assume, to the headache that I'd had over the vaccine. I was like, what? what's going wrong? Why is everyone saying yikes? And that's rough, buddy. But no, that, that makes sense. I was forgot I was behind a little bit. Can you cover space chimps? Maybe. Um, put it in the Discord suggestions if you haven't already. It will be on my list. Um, this is the worst place to suggest a terrible video because I literally will forget it and your suggestion will literally disappear. Um, especially because I don't even have like the chat available around here. Um, I do have that that I will make a brief adjustment to. Ooh, I wonder what I changed. We'll never know. Um, hey guys, you might get some chicken. All right, that that sounds that sounds good. Have you played the Toy Story three game? I haven't. No, that is uh, uh there's a lot. The only ones I've played, I I played the Cars game. That is not correct. Um, I have played Incredibles and I've played Monsters Inc. The pinball game on like the PC from like the not the 90s, the movie didn't come out at the end, but like back in 2005. Um, so we'll definitely get into it. Though I would like to do some non-Pixar stuff. There are DreamWorks things, like Over the Hedge we'll maybe do. We'll see. I assume you were talking about the game, right? Yeah, cool. Just making sure you weren't like, have you watched Toy Story 3, the movie? Yes, I certainly would have hoped so. What do you think of Space Jam, A New Legacy? If you've seen it, that is. Oh, I won't give a full review, but I'll give you a brief bit of thoughts. I don't like it. I also really like it. It's a 50-50 Enigma movie because I hated the live action bits, you know? When it starts off with just his son at the beginning. I also showed up like 5-10 minutes late because I was ordering a hot dog and it took forever and they had to get a new sausage to put it... That's its own issue. Um, but all like... Don Cheadle is the cringiest horrible character in that movie. Um, Don Cheadle as a character, as a guy, as a dude, real, real life, love him. In this movie, they couldn't make him funny no matter what, what they did. Um, I liked the 2D animation more than the whole rest of the movie. That's when it got interesting. It got funny. It did some cool animation things. The part I didn't like is LeBron James saying, I'm smaller than Kevin Hart. It just felt a bit forced. Um, but at the same time, when it was, like, when he first fell into the Looney Tunes world and the theme started, I was like, this reminds me of Space Jam 1. I've got a big smile on my face. It's a really dumb, stupid movie. But it's also really fun underneath. I wouldn't watch it again. Maybe I would as a drinking game. I don't know. I, I can't take it seriously. I don't... I'm so conflicted, you know? I will give it a 5 out of 10 because it's 50% 50% good, 50% bad. This is my kind of take. Um, I was going too far into a full review there, but like that's my kind of thoughts. Um, there was something else that was coming up in my mind about it. Um, oh yes! The trailer, I predicted, had the final shot in the movie. It did. It absolutely did. It was like, oh, I, I, I looked at it and I was like, that's, that's the final dunk that won them the game. That was the final dunk that won them the game. It, the, the whole film's in the, in the trailer. Boring. And then the ending didn't make sense to me. Like, Space Jam didn't have the stakes of Space Jam 2. Why is death involved? And then also, how is this person in the real world? How did everyone else suddenly get to join into the real world? This... What a... What? Why were they going to the E3 place if they thought there was the basketball place? How did they not... They, what? I'll just watch the first one. I'll stick to my nostalgia. Although I love the graphics. The CGI? Very good. Loving the exciting music review, uh, review music, yeah. Some Sonic the Hedgehog, why not? <coughs> Excuse me. But there you go. That is my thoughts on Space Jam 2. That's all there is to it. I, I, I'm done thinking about it. Um, the trailer's lingered around long enough, you know? So, just one of those things. Daz, have you seen the Venom Let There Be Carnage trailer? I haven't. We will be doing that today. It's probably one of the main ones. Actually, forget Skyrim music. It's, uh, you know what, actually? I really like Skyrim right now. I like the vibe. So we will get to your sound effect, movie lover, in a bit. I'm going to enjoy this, actually. While I can. We don't need to rush into things. It's a chill stream. Somewhat. What do you think about Venom Let There Be Carnage? I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. 
Uh, like it hasn't. It's on our list. Um, your sp your PC blue screen, Lewis Gamer. I apologize. Well, I didn't. I hope I didn't do it. I hope it wasn't me. I'm usually the one that has blue screens and random technical errors. Welcome back, anyway. Ah, oh, the Michael B. Jordan joke. I liked it. I wished it actually paid off to a real Michael Jordan appearance. Oh, what a waste of time. You know? Um, I look a little overexposed. Last time I did this, I also broke everything. It was during the Cuphead stream. So let's not do that again. But please, light, just reach enough so that I can turn down the lighting a little bit. Because I like look like I'm about to explode. Oh, no, wrong way. There you go. That's faintly better. I'm still kind of overexposed, but it's fine. Opinions on SCP Foundation? Don't know it. Never heard it. It's a horror game from like five years ago, isn't it? Over my head. Unless it's a new one. I'm not interested in horror games. Kind of. Not that one. Um, you know, I know the big ones. FNAF. Uh, I guess actually horror games are fine, but like I don't play them. Not my thing. SCP? Nah. Yeah, sorry. Not as Not as interested in that. I like your couch, thank you. This is one of the cheapest options in Ikea. And you know what? Let me show you a funky feature I can do. It's an excuse for me to stand up again. Watch this. I mean, you, you can probably guess what it's gonna do, but. Crazy! All the storage, although actually that's half of it packed away, so... We have a hidden bowl bulb in the background that whole time and a million, a million different plushies. It'll be fun dismantling that. We built it two years ago and then lost the guidebook to building it, so uh... Yeah, looking forward to that. Well, not tomorrow, but at some point. Huh. Damn, he's rich? That is literally the cheapest chair that was available in Ikea. Um, other than a non-couch, so... It's just good value for money. Um, technically, the downside is supposed to be that, like, there's no foundation at the back. You just have these cushions, and they fold pretty quickly. But, I mean, we just... They've been fine with us so far, you know? Maybe it's not best for our posture, but it does it. I have no idea what you're saying, have I watched, Lewis Gamer. You said, have you... You said uh, my screen... My PC blue screened, and then you said, have you watched it? I haven't watched your blue screen, Lewis. Um, I don't have that power. My apologies. <laughs> Um, but there you are. I have something else. There were other things I was thinking of saying over time. What was I thinking of? Do I know? Do I remember? Well, do I remember? I've clearly got a list here. Hmm. Actually, wow, I kind of blazed through everything kind of quickly. There are other things to say. Um, like something that will be uh, as a hint for what could be in the future, what could be uh, in the new place. One more thing to run around for. I've shown it twice, technically, but... Some snazzy little little decor that'll appear in somebody's uh, background office. We have a decorative Yoshi egg, which we just found in, like, a window. And we're like, when do we ever find Yoshi eggs? That's, that's not, you know, I've seen a million mushrooms and Mario faces, but an actual Yoshi egg that's like a light-up little lamp? It's pretty rad. So... A tiny, tiny thing. We'll be changing all sorts of decorations in the future. I'm not just going to have a single white wall behind me, which will be very, very nice. Um, technically, I could possibly show off the new place. Uh, I'll have to be very careful if I did, but we'll get to that in a bit. We should probably get to the movies. That is kind of the reason we will usually be doing this. But first, a movie lover requests a sound effect, so let's give it to you. Wow, alright, just someone calling for their mother. How... how sad. It as in... have you watched it? It as in Pennywise. Isn't that a movie that came out like two years ago? Three years ago? 
No. The Pennywise clown movie. When was that referenced at all? I don't, there's a is there a new Pennywise movie? What? No, there's it and it chapter two. It chapter two is from last year and it chapter one was from four years ago. I, have I missed something? I don't know. You guys don't make sense half the time. <laughs> you do actually. You're you're pretty standard till we understand. Um, all right, let's move on to our movie section of this stream because I should do it. We're doing things slightly differently though in that we are watching it directly on YouTube, which I haven't, I've done a little bit of, um, but I'm not too familiar with. Let's see if we can make this work. Right after I get over this advert. Okay, so let's see if this looks right. I haven't tested this. That looks pretty, that looks pretty clean to me. Except now it's just not gonna have errors all the time. It's a little cropped in, but I think that's fine. We're beginning with, you could never guess, Venom Let There Be Carnage. We have watched the original trailer. Um, we have not seen the original movie. I've heard, I've seen a video talking about this trailer. So uh, let's see how this goes. I, uh, I honestly, I, I don't know what to expect, but it won't be Spider-Man because I know that's detached. Unless they're gonna reveal that it's not, but we will just find out. Let's watch this. Oh, I ever wanted in this world is carnage. This is this is the micro trailer. Yeah, great. What a waste of time. Ready here. We should be out there snacking on bad guys. Okay. You know something I really appreciate about. Oh, actually, this is Sony. Um, maybe I do need to keep pausing this. I was about to say, like with Marvel, I can just watch these as much as I want and not have to pause. I might have to in this case. Does what I am listening to. Daz is what I'm listening to while painting. Fair enough, Moo. Very odd to have a, a viewer painting, but cool. Go for it. Enjoy the background sounds of watching a trailer where you don't get to watch it. An interesting decision, but that's fine. Yes, a, da uh, a blind trailer review is what is coming on. This is our usual. I do specifically try to avoid trailers all week, which is the worst part about doing this, but it's fine. It's fine. I I'll, I'll, I'll survive. I am a predator. Sure, I'm yeah, okay. Isn't this, am I in the right movie? This is like, this is movie one kind of content. Why are they arguing again? You have got to get control of your aggression. Uh, he hadn't the first movie? Oh goodness, all right. Walled off into area 51. Cool. That's just the same, is that not the same? Like, Walled that's off. the same, oh, wait, no. Yeah, oh no, that's DC, that's why. Because it's separate from MCU, I keep thinking that it's not even Marvel at all. I was like, that's the character from the Harley Quinn movie. It's not, it's just the same thing. Area 51. Okay, cool. You live in my body. You live. That would also explain, I wanted to make a comment of why aren't they in, um... God, I'm really bad at writing. I'm just bad at non-MCU things. I was gonna say, why aren't they in, um, Arkham Asylum? It's because this is Marvel. So Area 51 is the new Arkham Asylum, I guess. Rules, no eating people, huh? Let's see rules. how long that lasts. I've already seen a separate clip of him eating someone, I think. I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me, please. Let me fix it. So I can fix it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought Carnage was actually a second character, but I guess it's actually, like... This is... What? Is this Lilo and Stitch? Stitch has a glitch, but Venom, basically. That's the vibe I'm getting. If he's not able to control his emotions. Accidentally. You are a loser. Is Venom just Stitch? Like, it's, a, it's an alien parasite that comes from an external source, attaches to a human being, is very kind of aggressive and non-conforming to society, a bit of a menace, finally calms down in the presence of this human and learns to sort of be a bit more normal, at least integrate a little bit into society, faintly, still a little bit of a villain, and then in the second one he has a glitch and goes crazy. He's right, yeah. Stitch is just Venom. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Hey Brock, I want to give you my story. I mean, they're making a Stitch live action. They can go a little bit darker. This is the dark version that there is, you know. Inside the mind of serial killer. I, I miss it. Oh, it is Woody Harrelson. I was thinking it was him earlier. What's mine? It's yours. And what's yours? 
is mine. Gotta love that classic bass in the middle of a trailer for no reason. He was just, he just said a line, but it just, the, I don't even know what makes this, what, the guy pressed the space bar? Boo! It's the bass sound. Let's hear it again. Yours. And what's yours is mine. Oh, what's yours is mine. That's dramatic. Boo! I need a bass button. Just, that'd be great. See you later, Lewis Gamer. Ooh, lovely. I have tasted blood before, and that is not it. <laughs> Interesting. So he swallows part of the venom and then becomes carnage? Interesting. Why why was he why did he bite? Is he just a weird dude? He just feels like biting people and drinking blood? Alright. All I ever wanted in this world is cool. carnage. Now did you say that or was that the, the parasite inside of you? Because that's very that's a very big coincidence, you know? Was there a Lilo and Stitch story that went like this? There were like 600 experiments, weren't there? Or like a thousand? So I guess this is just like the Lilo and Stitch equivalent of the one that uh, that just made sandwiches all day, you know? It's just in the Lilo and Stitch world, it's just lovely, you know, oh, I like this one with peanut butter. And then over here, you know, it's just a little bit of... You know, eating in another form, you know, just a little bit more, you know, the peanut butter's just a little bit already digested first. Makes sense to me. Also, my goodness, that's a little gross. <laughs> I might need to talk a little bit for this uh, music, but that's fine. It's Lilo and Stitch 1.5. Is that not actually a movie? What happens in that one? There are three Stitch movies. What's the third one about? Is that when they've collected all of the experiments? I remember the TV show. I'm merging all of my Lilo and Stitch lo logic. Okay. Cool. Oh, shit. oh, oh Ven Venom scared like a uh, like Hulk is in Infinity oh, War. Shit. Oh, going he just disappears. You need to come out right now. I will let you eat everybody. Promise. I promise. Oh. Wow, he's he's basically he's basically a combination of Lilo and Stitch and also just Hulk and Bruce Banner. Fair enough. Yeah. This is the exact plot of the first one. I was gonna say, like, it just feels like another Venom that just does stuff. Like, but I mean, it will probably be good, right? People liked Venom 1. It was a little hit or miss, but like, it got a sequel, so I, I've, I've got high hopes for this. I need to w find out what the release date is to actually watch the first one, but that's fine. Oh, he actually does come back. I didn't think he would. Or is this, this is a totally different scene, isn't it? He just, yeah, the first one was outdoors. Ah, she's she's gonna be the one that actually kills Carnage. She's gonna scream, and then it will make him weak, and then Eddie will do the final blow with like a chiv or something. There's my prediction. Like family. Like family. Okay. As I've said before, I am not good at doing um comic book adaptation reviews and tra on trailers because I don't know the source material. I'm happy for you. That was going to be us. I am happy for you. No! God, I'm so <laughs> sorry. Not sorry! This dude needs some serious couples counseling. I want, I want a sitcom more than an actual action movie. I've also, for some reason, I'm so sorry. I've got like something stuck in my throat and I've had it for a while. So give me a second. Let me just briefly fix that with us. With us. <laughs> How's everybody doing? <laughs> Is that subtle enough? They're in the Notre Dame Cathedral? Uh, I'll be honest, I do not remember the insides of the cathedral, only the uh, the iconic image of the golden cross uh, not melting in there. Uh, is this what you mean? Oh, I thought it was a... It is a... Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to tell from that. Or is that what you mean? I don't know. I don't recognize this architecture. I only remember, the, I only remember it when it was burnt down, so... 
What did you miss? You've just joined. You have missed uh, Woody Harrelson dancing in the street. Because we just watched the Venom Let There Be Carnage trailer, essentially. And then other than that, we've just been discussing the future. We've been doing a bunch of chilling, basically. But welcome. The big ass rose window. Ah. Why would they be in France? I would doubt it. Uh, maybe it's just the cathedral scene. Um, because, uh, you know, just a, just a big religious building is my guess, but you could be right. If, you, if so, that's a, that's a good eye. Is anyone aware of the Venom comics? Do they go to France very often? Am I always going to be looking like crazy overexposed lighting is just my vibe? Apparently, it doesn't want to not be overexposed unless I make it dark like that. Oh well, it's fine. Oh, that's how the fire started. Oh, oh dear. I was like, what in the movie? But no, 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 that was, that was something else. Oops, it was carnage this whole time. Four years later. Three years later? Two years? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Any note from the Van Helsing film where they smashed through it? Oh, interesting. Fair enough. I was going to say, I thought you were uh, you're suddenly a connoisseur of the Notre Dame architecture. That would be very coincidental. Did you know Carnage made a cult in the comics? Interesting. I mean, I could see it to a degree. I'm not surprised that, you know, cult stories in comic books sounds like it would line up pretty easily. I imagine loads of characters probably have done it. I could, I'd believe it. If you're lying to me, I'm completely fooling for it as a, as a gullible man that I am. I wonder if Spider-Man exists in the Venomverse. I believe he does, but like he's not, we're not going to, it's not Tom Holland and we're not going to see him because of, um, ownership disputes, I believe. But then again, you know, maybe something will change. I mean, if they are introducing all the other Spider-Men in the new Spider-Man, as people keep speculating, and there is the Spider-Verse, maybe one day they'll sort of pluck over. Um, I hope the Venom series goes well, though. It's nice to see that kind of side piece there. That's... I just realised it's a different GIF now than what I would originally... Maybe... Uh, I don't know. Either way, Icy Plods, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. And movie lover, you suggested another hydrate. I mean, I've been doing it this whole time anyway, but I'll give you another. Cheers. Oh, MZU, VCU, SCU. Yeah, is that the Sony Cinematic Universe you're talking about? Or what else is there? There's also like the DCCU, I guess, if you count that. There's a lot of CUs. In this world. We're living in one right now. Cra well, uh, does this count as a cinematic universe? There's no cinema. I don't know. They're introducing X-Men and Deadpool into the MCU, so maybe end credit scene is Doctor Strange or something asking Eddie for help. Maybe, but that does sound like a very fan fic -y tale. Um, do we know if they're integrating X-Men and Deadpool into the MCU? It sounds like it's just like... Or if it is, it will be a rebranded version of the X-Men, I would have thought, because they've just finished Hugh Jackman and... And um, Patrick Stewart, I would have thought, but what do I know? Oh, Spider-Man Cinematic Universe. Ah, it's the same thing as the Sony Cinematic Universe. What if we all live in a TV show? Yeah, we are all from the Truman Show. That's just how it works. Um, so next up, we have a trailer that I have been waiting for for the longest time. I actually thought this movie already came out because I saw another React YouTuber say, we're reacting to this movie. And I thought they were like, oh, so full on just it's already come out i wasn't aware and it's not in the uk so i can't make a, a main video on it or anything um no uh, they, they were just oh i've posted the same i've posted the same link three times i have to manually look for this oh this is a disaster um but no it, they they just sort of clickbaited the title too much i didn't realize they were reacting to the trailer um but now i know that they're not we made a mainline video on this before um so now let's just get into it again although it released a week ago oh my god i am out of date july oh god all right well oh yes i was away for two weeks that would make sense why i missed it either way um you know what i've if you got it from the hint here it is in full it's this this is the Ghostbusters Afterlife trailer, the new, rebooted, next generation Ghostbusters. Let's give it a look. Um, who is this by? This is Sony, I believe, isn't it? Uh, by Ghostbusters. Okay, great. I think it is Sony. 
I don't know their rules on um, copyright. I do know that we are officially, we are officially, as of now, boycotting Netflix. Um, maybe not the service because they're kind of too much of a still dominating element of the streaming industry. Uh, but we are domi we are boycotting, not dominating, we are boycotting any of their future trailers. Because without fail, for five seconds of footage, they will give me a copyright claim, even when I edit and shuffle it about. So screw them. I ain't gonna advertise any of their movies anymore. If they've got a, a some weird spin-off anime, I'm not covering it. Stranger Things, do not care. It has been binned because it is an outdated modeling service that won't let me react to a trailer. And even though I'm tiny, it would be better advertising. And I just, business is business. I won't cover them anymore. So there you go. Anyway, back to Sony. Daz, you bright, you bright my day. Well, thank you, Su Supre Maraid. <laughs> Not quite sure what your name is supposed to be. I know you've intentionally uh, misspelled it, but thank you. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad I uh, help brighten your day in some form. Not really going to bother with this movie, are you not? You're a movie lover. You're not going to be interested in this? I know a couple of friends that are interested, but I'm more curious than everything else. Maybe you've seen from the trailer and that's... Maybe you know something I don't. We'll find out. You assumed this came out because they promoted it a year or so ago. Yeah, it, it got delayed, I guess, is just kind of the the sticking point there. You're a great Let's mom. find out a release date as well. I don't know. I'm fine with Trevor. It's Finn oh, Wolfhart people. doing 80s it's things, things again. Outside. That's normal. She's and Paul Rudd, which is pretty kid. fun. And another L L uh, eleven looking girl. To start fresh. I just wish you'd get Playing Tetris. Trouble. There's still time. So if you aren't aware, it is literally like Gen Z Ghostbusters. Instead of trying to reboot them all as females or just bring the characters back, it's actually the next generation, which is good. I think that's the correct way to do sequels and rebrand franchises. As much as it's still kind of just grabbing money out of something that already exists rather than making good original content, I'm more in favor of this kind of stuff. It just seems to work more better. You only like the original one? Fair enough, that's standard. The movie hasn't even come out yet. But yeah, I get what you mean. Um, to be fair, I was about to say Star Wars is a good example of generational franchises, but they didn't really do that a very good job on that, so maybe not. Let's have a bit of color in here. I'm getting too black and white. There we go. That's better. What are you um, doing here in but I'm invested. Anyway. We're completely broke. It's especially weird because obviously Wolf, uh, Finn Wolfhart doesn't look that um, old in Stranger Things yet. But also I know this is so old already because it was this, you know, this trailer came out a year ago and the footage was from before that. So imagine what Finn Wolfhart looks like now and how he's going to look in Stranger Things is mind blowing because he's even older. They've aged so quickly. My God, in I'm my old. Father left us this creepy old farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. Uh, this oh, is a three. A oh, that's cool. I just never noticed that before. I was going to say this is a, like a three minute trailer. We're just going through all the beats so far, but hey, I like this. Very cool. Your father wasn't much of a homemaker. He could hardly keep the power on. You're this is the family of the mushroom well, dude. I wouldn't say nothing. Loves his spores. I don't think I'd actually seen the original Ghostbusters before I'd seen the first trailer a year ago. I think I watched it recently, as in a year ago, which is crazy to me, but I know it now. And I saw the female version. Anyway. With the station wagon? It's the only one that had an engine. Very cool, running through the hay, or the fields. I don't know exactly what it is, but... What is happening Classic here? bad boy material. Somehow. An old prime minister here would be proud. Is shaking on a daily basis. What an outdated political reference, excuse me. I've seen most of this before, so I haven't got much to say. Maybe it's the apocalypse. Oh, well, with that kind of intonation in the trailer, I guess it is. Are you troubled by strange noises in the middle of the night? Yes, my neighbors, my neighbors are so noisy. I, I can't, uh, and not to mention like the road, we're right by a main road. There's helicopters and planes. I don't know what time of day it is because they always fly at night time. So yeah, could you come here, Ghostbusters, and just sort of take down that plane for me? Get rid of the cars, you know, just maybe, maybe headphones. Maybe just get me some ear headphones. That'd be, that'd be good. That's already all. Yeah, that fixed my problem, actually. Never mind. I'll call you back later. Headphones. Easy. Feelings of dread in your basement or attic. Have you <laughs> or any of your family <gasps> ever seen a spook? Oh! I was not expect- other. Oh, this is- 
lingering a little close to minions in my head. Like, I like one tiny cute one. Or that one episode of Doctor Who that no one, none of you are probably going to get unless you've watched Doctor Who for the last 10 years. That's like clickbait modern movie to have a million cute things. It's going to be in the marketing. It's just because they want to make a tiny pop Funko. But hey, I'm a little... Yes, exactly. The adipose. You are... Der... That was exactly what I was thinking of. But I feel like only you and me are going to get that reference. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, it is a high-stakes apocalypse. Which, to be fair, the originals were. Was that Elvis? What was? What would I? What was I looking at there? Or is that his? Is that? No, it's just—it's probably just another demon from the like originals. That would also make sense. <laughs> oh, city. It's like the Walking Dead. What was that number two? Oh, the Walking Dead as well. Okay. Yeah, there it is. I think this looks like a lot of modern fun with some better CG. I think I could get behind this. We're ready to believe you. It's weird. I was I really thought they were going to say we're ready to defeat you because I've watched too much of the epic rack battles of history version of this than the actual original. I'm sorry, my nostalgia's just in the wrong place. I'm stuck in 2013, not 1988, or whenever the original movie came out. <laughs> We're closed. Oh! You know who that was. I mean, the most famous of them all We're with closed. the most recognizable voice. But hey, I mean, that makes sense. They bring someone back. Cool. I mean, he also showed up in the in the female version, so there's, there's room for her there. That's cool. I'm invested. Um, November... Cool. Exclusively in movie theaters. How very brave. Um, I will keep a note of that somewhere. Uh, I'll write it down later. But cool. I I like that movie. I think I, I, I have good vibes. The worst vibes I have are from the Tiny Marshmallows. But I know a lot of other people will like them. So I'm in the minority there. You know. And it seems to be kind of enough of its own sort of side story. Although it's kind of hitting the same beats. Um, I think that'd be really good. That's my thoughts on that. <sighs> Are there secrets in there? I, I I don't know if anyone's done a... I, tried to, I think I tried to do an analysis last time. There wasn't too much. There was like new stuff, but it was kind of like, oh, there's one of this guy, one of this guy, one of this guy to sort of see, you know? Um, but yeah, I, it, it does seem to have like that kind of heart behind it. Maybe not passion. It does seem, you know what I mean? It's still a reboot of sorts, but uh, I'm invested. Speaking of a... Uh, reboots and passion here's something i am not so invested in i usually do not watch movie trailers in the week but there is one that came out yesterday that i was with a couple of friends when it came out and they watched it and obviously i was there this does not look so good do you remember a trailer that came out yesterday are you guys in the know i'll give you a hint it's got a big old smile on the front of it but that doesn't make it quality. This is an Amazon Prime video. I am incredibly brightly lit because of the screen. This is a live action movie that would be a Disney live action, but I guess the copyrights don't allow for it for some reason. Distribution rights are different for a movie that's like 100 years old. This is a live action Cinderella. This is not Venom 2, I assure you. Oh, I have it muted. There we go. Dresses by Ella. Could you imagine if this was Venom 2? I'd love to see that. Just like, it's a nice, happy, chappy musical, and then just... That'd be great. I want to see a parody like that. Um, I have no idea what the copyright system will this will be. I don't think I've done... Have I done an Amazon Prime trailer before? Well, I certainly with a musical like this. This has been actually trending on Twitter because of how much of a uh, backlash this has had because of um, certain figures. We'll get to it in a bit. Um, a I also heard some very opinionated things laugh, from the friends I was with. Fancies herself a businessman. <laughs> For a start, fair enough. It's a very archaic story, so they're going to make it a little bit more modern, which is cool. Kind of, although, you know, it's also... Because it's so part of an outdated time, 
I'm not in, like I'm not like wow that's breaking boundaries because we've been doing this for a while. It's a weird. I have a weird like I don't know what my opinion is on that. I'm just neutral because I'm like that's cool, but also we've been doing this for years, so it's not going to be like powerful to me. It's just in the story, I guess. I don't know. Rana? This is yes another live Cinderella. It's only my love for your father. Right? But it's not Disney. It's Amazon Prime Video, as you can see from the E video in the corner. It's just all that stands between you and a life on the street. So a thing that my friends didn't like, and I am just not in the know of this, our main lead, uh, Camilla Cabello? Ca uh, I, I don't know. It is Cabello. Cam is it Camilla? I could have actually gotten that right. I thought I got it wrong. They don't like her. Well, I, I don't know the history behind it. Um, I'll just believe them for a little bit. I think they might have been faintly problematic in the past and got cancelled briefly, but are still still sticking with the life um, I to make but a life. I noticed more of a complaint when the singing actually began from her we will get there for myself also one of my sing it's not all though it's not all bad we will we will get to Which this addresses sooner I can't remember what Camilla Cabello is in well, we'll love but we'll see <sighs> hey look it's a three CG mice that's fine that would be in a live action Cinderella I sure hope one of these guys isn't a CG animal regular of whom the entire industry, not entire industry, the entire internet grossly hates, standing next to two beloved British comedians that will actually be carrying this entire film. Can't wait to hear about these guys. You'll get there in a bit. Also, the CGI wasn't perfect either, was it? It was a bit, it was a bit dodgy. Although, to be fair, this is a trailer. The CG is early. Something I didn't really register from the uh, Clifford trailer that we did back then. CG was still terrible, but it could very well be early shots from the trailer. Maybe the main movie will be better. I have a feeling it won't be, but we'll see. To make sure it wrong. I hope so. I felt a little bad when I watched uh, Corridor Digital react to the trailer and say, yeah, it's early trailer. Don't bash it. And there was me bashing it, but we'll see. You're not too I'll come into it with more of an open mind. As for this... Done properly, we shall hold a ball. Don't forget, this is Amazon Prime. They have budget. Piers Brosnan. Of course he's here. Because celebrities. They they fuel the world. You shall find a bride. No, uh, Juice Goatman. Ant and Deck are not mice. I wish it was Ant and Deck. A bit more modern. Cinderella, you don't need to go to the ball. Please. Whoa, I haven't heard that line before. I mean, maybe I'm digging this a bit too harshly, but yes, there have been a lot of Cinderella reboots and remakes. It's kind of boring, and I hope they make something interesting of it, but I have a deep, dark feeling they won't. They could have just made a story about a dressmaker musical and not made it Cinderella. I think that would have been more interesting. But the title will get them more money. Stepmother, I spent weeks making this dress. My it's just called cool Cinderella it. as well. Get... Alright. That's like the My most pathetic spray. It. It just looks like a tiny gunshot. People have hit, like, snuck into nightclubs with worse. You're fine. You know, it's just, if it had gone, ev like, why wasn't it a bucket? That would be way more, you know? Like Vicar of Dibley, like, when she gets splashed with a million particles of mud. This is just, like, just fold. Get, like, one stomach roll, and then it's just, like, covered. You're good. You're good. So, uh, something, it's not all bad. There is something that's quite interesting that they have done with the formula. Oh, I like this colour palette. It actually makes me look nice and well lit. Or on fire. You know, whichever whichever one works. But, um, the yeah. fairy godmother... I am your fabulous godmother. Do you ...is a lot more interesting than the standard, which is pretty cool to see. I'm curious to see where they go on that route, I'll be honest. It's funny, I've seen a lot of hate for this film. Uh, it's all... It's like a lightning rod. There's a lightning rod character in this that is getting all of the hate funneled into them, and I'm all for it. But yeah, that is the fairy godmother, and I'm surprised no one's hating on that. Neither am I. It seems pretty fun and interesting. And meet a bunch of rich people who will change your life. It was not just a meme, indeed. Yes, I was just crying and singing about it like two minutes ago. Then go, you shall! It's a bit more, obviously, a bit more, um parody or tongue-in-cheek self-aware which is nice um oh, she goes in a suit this is different, also I mean. okay, Dad, you said you wanted to be a businesswoman it's 
Sure. All right. I guess the theme of businesswoman's just going to be to the point. But sure. I mean, actually, making it a suit instead of a dress, pretty cool. You don't need to base your entire personality around being a businessman. Even if you are a woman, I would rather a bit more depth than that. But I mean, it's Magic fine. Time. Not the worst thing we could have done. Here is the big thing. What's the issue here? What's the bait? What's the good bit? Here's good bit. Uh, I've forgotten his name. F lovely British comedian. Uh, Ramesh or Ramesh. Uh, I, I've only seen it written down a couple of times. And then other than that, I've seen clips of him doing comedy. I don't remember his name. Is it uh, Nathan and an extra bit? Um, but yes, you've picked it up a little bit. Let's... Hold on. <clears throat> Give me a second. Let me just... So this guy, also beloved... i got to look this way now. Beloved British comedian. I only found him out in like the last six months. He's been everywhere over British TV after he like just exploded on the comedy game show circuit. It's James Acaster. Everyone loves him. Got very much of a certain personality. A bit more, can't explain it, but like not chavy, but like he sort of talks like like this. He has a weird. He turns his. He's just like a bit of a bit of an idiot. A bit of a bit of a having a bit of a bubble. It's very fun. Very funny dude. You know. It's, it's anyway. Yes, it's Ramesh. Yeah, okay. Um, not Ramesh. Excuse me. I am very bad at remembering any celebrity names. James A. Caster is a very, very easy name. Um, and then there's James Corden. Why are they brought two Jameses together? Why is he here? That's what the whole internet says. Especially because this is just another musical that he has plagued with his entire existence. He is in every musical there is. Why didn't his career die with the cats? Where is the butthole addition to that thing anyway? He's in everything. He's in all of them. Everyone's sick of him. I've also only recently found out. Bit of a dick in real life. So, I don't plan to meet him. If I get on his talk show, I will reject it. I won't get on his talk show, but if I did, I would not. Ugh. 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 Anyway. He's so funny, he can't balance without his tail. <laughs> oh, God. Oh god. Um, but yeah, the other two, fantastic. Love to see them. They're gonna carry this entire movie. I have friends that have said, literally, I will watch this movie because of them two. And then just try and repress the memory that has that one over there. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Ugh. Is Daz gonna make a James Corden hate channel in Discord? Like, Jesus. No. The internet is one big James Corden hate channel. When this trailer came out, it wasn't Cinderella, hashtag Cinderella, that was uh, trending on Twitter. It was hashtag James Corden, or just James Corden in general, just the keyword. Everyone hates him. He's a terrible person in real life, bit of a douchey, rich celebrity, and he's in every musical. So if you're a theatre kid that loves your musicals, I'm not. I don't like musicals until I'm watching a musical, and then I really like musicals. And then when I stop watching a musical, I don't like musicals anymore. But when you're in the moment, if you're a fan of musicals, this guy plagues your life. Oh, God. Dislike. Oh, I hate that they, they put them next to it. Why? I, I'm so upset that these two have to share a frame with him. I hate that they had to... Oh, I'm upset for them, because I bet even on set to all the crew, he was just a massive dick. Not a fan. Yeah. Can we get the James Corden less cut, please? Absolutely. You say that not trying to be mean. I say that including trying to be mean. He's a mean person. I'll be mean to him. <sighs> On the bright side, he was in Hamilton. You're right. Because he only shows up in TV stuff. Actually, he has still got a theatre. He did have like a one-man band show that he does. So he does do theatre. But yeah, he's not in Hamilton. So that's good. Is Corden that bad? Yes. Yes, he is. Uh, if you ever like... Um, uh, I remember like there were reddit threads especially if you was like oh what's a celebrity that's not very nice that you've had a not very nice interaction with everyone's got a bad James Corden story I don't mind I like I'm not too fussed either that he was in bad casting roles and he's a bad I don't like his acting style I don't like his typecast you know I don't like him in emoji movie but maybe that was his, you know his agent putting him onto it but after learning that he is legitimately just a rude, pompous, rich guy in real life and only treats celebrities with a shred of decency, now I'm personally against him, you know? I sometimes felt a little bad how much I like, I dislike James Corden. Found him a little annoying, 
played it up a little bit for YouTube. Now I'm genuinely like, oh, wow, I dislike, you know? It's like, not quite on the level of Ellen DeGeneres, but he's kind of leaning there, you know? So, not a fan. Yeah, Corden sounds like the Piers Morgan of television. Absolutely. Just Ellen DeGeneres, Piers Morgan, James Corden. Stick them all up, hold them by, like, the, the coat hangers and just whoosh, chuck them away. The internet would be just a little bit better like that. Anyway, shall we get back to Cinderella? Excuse my rant there. Where's my tail? I can't balance without my tail! Yeah. And that's all we see of Ramesh and James, a caster. Uh, but I, I could see a little bit of that, like, that jerky swirl of his. Where's my I tail? love it. I can't Give balance it. without my tail! Yeah. Uh, actually, you look kind of... Kind of well, not too jerky, but you know, I, I really wish I could. I was tempted. I was saying this yesterday when I was watching the trailer. I was like, I have a good legitimate reason to pirate Scoob when I did the I pirated Scoob and this is why. I would love to make a click patey title that is um, I pirated Cinderella because of James Corden. And then that would be the title. Do a bad, terrible review or just dunk on Corden the whole time and call it a day there. Maybe I will. Unless it gets me sued or arrested, I don't know, but then it gets me a nice boost in <laughs> the YouTube space. Ah, oh, movie YouTuber just got sued by the movie industry. Everyone fear for your lives. Who knows? But I'm literally l tempted to pirate this movie when I want to watch it because I dislike supporting James Corden that badly. Like, I'm- and I'm like, pay with you, you know, make political comments with your wallet? Sounds good to me. It didn't happen, and even if it did happen... Hi! Would you like to dance? Right now. No. Uh, I guess, you know, this is the generic... Where did you get that dress? Live action I bit. designed it. I picked you to be my princess. What about my work? Wow, crazy. I, I was not like expecting them to do that. From a royal box. I'm curious, like, what uh, What else do you do interesting? How else do you spice this up? You've changed some, uh, some gender norms around. You've got a couple of comedians in there. Some other celebrities on the side. What else is there? Any more than a life confined to a... I'm so confused. When is this supposed to be set? Ah, uh, just fantasy land. I don't think it matters. Is it modern? I don't think so. Basement. If it's me. Oh, I don't remember who this person is. Camilla Cabello. I don't like. I don't know her. I do know. I despise this spy. This style of singing. It just sounds so. I don't. Know, I don't know. My friends were really hyping it up, being like, "Oh, it's terrible. It's terrible." But yeah, like. Oh, what was the con what was the comparison? Oh, um, uh, I was told the comparison's kind of like it's the original new song that they added into the Aladdin remake, where it's just kind of like, but she is uh, uh, she's the lead. Every Cinderella song is just gonna sound. Oh. It's so generic. I've had discovered though. Hey, it's nice to see there's another shot. Oh, thank you. Good to see there's another shot of the comedians. James Corden, why are you in the middle? Why do you get all the screen time? Why are you gonna have 20, like 29 lines and the others are gonna get three? I'm so angry. Like, get out of this frame, please. Why are you blocking James A. Caster's face? I'm so upset. I didn't even get to see his face that whole time. I'm so upset. Dreams. Yeah, she is. She was a singer first, but it does not fit musical framing. Something about it just doesn't. Yeah. As someone who is uneducated on that, I mean, I am biased because of my friends, but like, it just this is grinding my gears, and I'm an outsider. You know? I have to chase. Oh well, there's more of him. I just didn't notice it before. Why are you here, James Corden? Why, like, why is not the other one? Where is the other one? Is the other one dead? Did they kill a mice in Cinderella? I don't remember how that, it's been a while. I haven't read it since, like, the book when I was, like, in year two. Well, a caster looks a little concerned. And that's it, all right. Do they leave him? Does he get a, can one of the mice get, like, a dress and then just, like, get their own princess? Marry fun? him and all of our problems will be solved. It's too late. This is literally the end of the story. Does it go any further? Is this the whole story in the trailer? Probably. Life outside this basement starts right now. Life outside this basement starts right now. Okay, cool. I was, I was wondering what the line was. It was a bit meshy. 
Wow. Oh, hey. Uh, excuse me. Hold on. Hey. I've been watching a lot of Taskmaster recently, not only because another streamer called uh, Stanz has been watching it, but also that was my gateway into just full-on watching Taskmaster, the British game show. Hence why I'm knowing these celebrities now. That's another one! They just plugged another one in there! The whole circuit! Why is James Corden there? He's not part of that circuit. I mean, I guess he just... Oh. This guy punched a fish, made a rap about nursery rhymes, the... Red Flish, Blue Fish, whatever it's called. Man. Looking at her IMDb, I don't think she's ever been in a big acting role before. Okay, cool. Hopefully it's her last. I don't mean to be that much of a hater on her. I just know my friends really dislike her. So maybe I'm a bit too harsh on her. But like, it, it's just grinding my gears one way or another. They're glass? Any way you can make them more comfortable? No. But you just... Why don't you tap your heels and then just disappear, get sucked into a twister? Uh, I'd love to see that ending. Just did a whole thing. Just, there's no place like home. <laughs> you know? No? That's why I should be a writer for these things. Even magic has its limits. Ha, ah, that was so funny. What, hey. what was she even asking for? Uh, what's They're the glass. joke here? Any way you can make them more comfortable? No. But you just did oh. a whole thing. Even magic has its limits. Ha, ah, okay. That's still... Sure. Comedy. September 3rd, oh man, that's a day before my birthday. Oh, I can pirate it, it's fine. At least I don't have to spend money. But yeah, so she can actually act up, be pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I uh, I don't have high hopes. It's just like a, a casting director was like, oh, let's just add all the people. Bleepy blappy bloop. I don't know. That's a movie I am very much not looking forward to. I, uh, it drains me. It drains my soul a little bit. To, uh, to see it, uh, but I would like to see it for the comedians. I've only just discovered them. Uh, I have to go through the whole YouTube algorithm to see all the rest of the, the James A. Caster stuff, and oh well. Um, right, someone recommended, and I'll give it a look. I skipped it before, I think, or I was going to skip it because it is just live action. We might not make this a... Um... I guess we can make it a trailer reaction for the second channel. Uh, I will be introducing uh, some Twitch exclusive stuff in the future, um, because I want to do more Twitch stuff, but it was also a lot to edit and some of it's just not usable for YouTube. I've also done that with some of the trailers actually in the, in the past. Actually, I've been already doing it. Where if a trailer doesn't look like it'll be very good as an actual video, then I just won't put it on YouTube. So watching it, watch stuff live and you'll see everything. You get some exclusive content. Um, but this one might be one of those because live action stuff doesn't do as well. So why did I just watch Venom and Ghostbusters and Cinderella today? Maybe not my best decisions, but there is no animated trailer to watch. So there you go. Did they just say the back to school treat movie or was that just you coming up to coming up with that? Because yeah, it is September time. An odd, an odd pick, but hey. Yeah. I don't know. For the little girls to imagine they can be the new princess at a new school, maybe. Is that a lot is that a logic of marketing? I have no idea. Anyway, let's watch King Richard. I know nothing of this. I only know of a cartoon of the of a similar name that was very much not safe for work. And I don't know why I was introduced to it by the neighbor's kid when I was eight. It is star stored in my memory. I'm not going to look it up. You probably shouldn't either. It is anatomically not correct. Anyway, if you know what I'm referring to, I'm so sorry. But let's not go any further than that. I have a few things I do need to go through first. We have some hydration. So, Supreme Raid from Discord, here is a hydrate from you. Okay, I've realized something, but we'll get to it in a sec. Cheers. Ah, the back to school treats from you, Juice Goat Man. Fair enough. That's a, a good name for it, to be fair. I could, you know, I understand it. Right. Uh, we now have three more hydrates. I'm going to speed things up. So thank you, It Migi. Interesting name. And Movie Lover and Supreme Maria from Discord. I don't know exactly how to pronounce your first word, but that's fine. Thank you for the hydrates, everyone. Let me do them all at once. Cheers! 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 There we are. Did you just add two more? Did I just... Did I not already say... I did... Uh, yeah, no, you've added two more. Alright, Epic Tiger and Movie Lover, here's two more for you. Oh, I've done it too quick together. Che cheers! There you go. Technically, that was three hydrates because I took a second goal, but it's all cool. It's all cool. I like your mug. Thank you very much. Got this ages ago. It was a birthday present, because people were like, oh, you like Mario, right? You like Nintendo? And I'm like, yeah, sure. 
I would have preferred a big Pikmin merch, but it's it's cool, it's cool. And this one, I don't even know whose it is. I think it was just like a generic, it's student accommodation mug. Wow, this is old. But there you are. Daz is going to rug out a liquid at this point. You're right, I've got one last mug left. And then uh, we'll probably end the stream after that. So be careful on your hydrates. Maybe it's the end of the stream when you do it. I have no idea. Is it Supreme Red? Oh, maybe. That would make sense. It's okay. It's pronounced Supreme. Okay, it is just Supreme. I know you've, you've shumbled all the words. I wasn't sure. I, it's like an anti-dyslexia thing where you have dyslexified it and I can't undecipher it. It was very strange. Anyway, I will call you Supreme then. Supreme from Discord. Unless you're not actually from Discord and you're actually from Disocred, which is very possible. But um, we'll see. Anyway, let's get back into King Richard. Warner Brothers, I have no idea what their copyright system is. I'm gonna remember it and learn from this and then make notes for the for the future. I should have learned this already, but it's been a while. I also know nothing. It's a Will Smith Everybody movie, okay? right? They got a call, said there was trouble in the house. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No. Well, you all need to look around. It is a Warner Brothers movie. How 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 serious does this get? It's got twelve million views and came out a week ago? My goodness. Okay. Well, wet for practice, don't you think? The girls have schoolwork to do. They do their homework. Tundi's first in her class. Lynn and Isha are too. Now I need mind you saying we. This definitely is weird. It looks sort of like a really um. I, I get like, I don't know. It has it's bad movie. You sure? Out on these kids, you oh, know man. why? Because we bit. are. That's our job to keep them off these streets. Okay, it you is a bit of a serious kids, movie, but then just so not. We got future doctors and lawyers, plus a couple tennis stars in this house. The chances of achieving the kind of success that you're talking about... When is it set? very, very unlikely. Okay, you're making a mistake, but I'm gonna let you make it. Also, Will Smith looks so different. Balls. All right. So tell me your names again. I'm Venus. I thought that was Dr. Cox from uh, Scrubs, just in his sunglasses. It's very surprised. I'm Serena. It is actually a tennis movie, huh? So what'd you think? I wrote a 78 page plan. It actually is. Country. I just thought it was like a side hobby. Oh. Before they was even born. Yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> These girls so great. How come I've never heard of them? They're from Compton. It's okay. They're just not used to seeing good looking peoples like us. <laughs> She's nervous. Take a step up. Maybe she ought to take a few more steps up. Just get someplace safe. I think you might just have the next Michael Jordan. Oh, no, okay. brother. Okay. I got so it the is next two. Nice and later. This next step you got to take. You're not gonna just be representing you. You're gonna be representing every little black girl on earth. They're not gonna let you down. How could you? Are there uh are there many like serious like comp competitive sports movies? I know a lot of sports anime. Is this a thing? Like I, I don't I can't think of any. Like uh, they're just more niche things. This could be really like I'm. I can I get into them sometimes. Like I'm not much of a sports man. I like athletics and Olympics at most. Um, but like actually genuine competitive sports anime have sucked me in a handful of times. I'd love to see this more in live action. This could be really good. This world ain't never had no respect for Richard Williams, but they gonna respect y'all. Based on the true you're story. With your head up. Hell yeah. You are a champion, and the whole world know it. I remember those sweets. Sorry, I couldn't not mention <laughs> Didn't like the taste though, actually. It was very creepy that they said, I love you on them. A bit too, a bit too parasocial for me, so. Anyway. The most dangerous creature on this whole earth. It's a woman who know how to think. Yes, hmm. daddy. Ain't nothing she can't do. You gonna show this? how dangerous you are? Uh, probably, um, it would depend on, um, no, I don't. I don't see why not. Actually, if it's available and not too busy. Ah, oh, okay. I, nope. Never mind. I ain't. Oh no. What? What? It's sorry. I, I'm reading this early. It says in theaters and streaming exclusively on HBO Max. Do they understand the word exclusively? It can't be in theaters and if it's exclusively. Of course, it's stre if it's only st the streaming parts exclusive on HBO. It's not going to be streaming on several streaming sites. I don't think any movie does that. What is? November 19th. Anyway, sure. I'll try and find the time for it. 
Venus and Serena gonna shake up this world. That's very cool. Venus Williams, King who Richard. is your best friend? But he did. It's fine. I don't know the original story, um, but if like if this wasn't a li um, a true story, my question was going to be, why is it named after him? If it's those two girls that are the ones making history, but I guess it's from his perspective as the coach, um, or he was already successful and now passing it to his kids. I don't know these things. Serena Williams, <laughs> who is your best friend? Venus. Then you. That's then you. After Venus. Hmm. But like, yeah. But hey, it's a true story, so I guess it's a bit more correct and on brand for that from that front. But that is actually not at all what I was expecting. I was a little worried where I was getting into, like how. Whoa, 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 that was impressive. You just double sound affected me. Thank you. Thank you for the follow, Blissful Sun. Um, but yeah, no, I could really get into that. I, I, I've got a craving subtly to watch more sports movies because they can get really good when they when they're actually genuine, like competitive. Although this one's less about the tournament and more just like the politics and the coaching side. But I mean, I could get into that. I could see it. You know. I'd go see this love and empowering movie. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, that was cool. That was not at all what I was expecting. I saw it as like one of the options earlier and I just decided to skim over it, but I'm glad I was pulled back to it. Um, but with that all done, I believe, yeah, that's all my, that's all the trailers we've got to. I haven't streamed in like a couple weeks, it feels like. Um, and there's just not much else going on at the moment. It's a bit of a, it's a bit of a quiet August. Um, life will be getting busier in real life for me from this point. Um, we should be back. I'm not ending stream yet, but we streaming wise we should be still pretty consistent um, I can actually give you a slight update. So obviously we will be streaming this time next week as usual on Wednesday um, 8 p.m. But then the next stream I'll advertise it more then is gonna be a little bit earlier We're doing a bonus stream on that first Monday. So not this Monday No, the next Monday we'll be doing a bonus stream because that will be when we are officially in the new place and hopefully with some internet. Maybe I'll have to do it Tuesday. I'll let you know on Twitter or something. I'll advertise it elsewhere. But that will be when we start streaming more often. We will be after this phase of my life. Oh my god, excuse the hiccups. After this phase of my life is done, after I've got more Hello Fresh boxes filled, we'll be doing more streams. And that will be the start of the uh, the first extra stuff. So that'll be very good. With all sorts of different content. I want to tell you some of it. I'm going to tell you what. Um... So, this is also, I've been trying to think, and I'll take suggestions if you want, trying to think of different ways to do um, movie content on streams. There aren't, there aren't big movie streamers, you know? There are big React streamers, you know, like um, I've only recently discovered Hassan, who's just all day watching stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, and I could do that, I've already doing a little bit of that with the trailers and such. Uh, there are people that do reviews or like movie shows a little bit and that's interesting or there are just movie youtubers that do gaming stuff which is also something i am going to be dabbing a little into um but something i thought would be quite cool as a side thing i will be having i'll be getting a new set obviously in this new place um let's see if there's anything that pops up if i say that um <laughs> no it doesn't all right great um but one of the things i would like to do that's not very movie based but we can make it movie based is, uh, do I have a screen for this? I guess I do. Cooking streams. Specifically, we can start cooking themed things. I've learned how to cook over the last uh, uh, eight months. We're getting a good kitchen with a nice setup. I'm thinking of buying several cameras, new angles, and as much as we will also probably be cooking normal meals, we can hop onto this. I would like to, I haven't done any research yet, but if there are movie foods, I'd love to recreate it, and that could be a fun little side thing we could do. Similarly, we will probably do video game foods, because let's be honest, that's a lot more popular. Um, that's one of the side things we could very much be doing during certain streams. On top of that, I'm always rushing around for dinner on stream days, so that I'm always having a microwavable meal just before stream. It'd be nice to just be like, right, I'm done with this, we finished our trailers, let's go cook a lasagna or something, and just actually just, well, that way, hoik the camera over waddle on over to the kitchen, have like this three-piece setup, have the recipe on the side, and learn how to cook a Mario face and eat it, you know? Um, who's that YouTuber who does food from films and games? I forgot her name. I don't know them. I would like to do research into it, but it is something 
that we are doing in the future. I'm trying to think of other spins on the movie content. There aren't very many. So we've got film trailers and reviews that we're doing now. We have movie video games, which we have also recently started dabbing into and we'll do more often. It will get a kind of dedicated slot in September time, but hey, that's way off in the future. And then also now, movie foods, um, which will be fun to do. We'll also be doing kind of IRL stuff just to get to know me more. The, I, I might as well uh, tell you now, the bonus Monday stream will be us in the new place. Everything will just be white walls, but we're going to be unpacking. We're sorting out, setting up, basically. It's a setup setup. Setting up the setup stream is probably the, the plans for that. Um, but hey, if you're interested in that, definitely let me know. And um, either let me know now or ping me on like Instagram or Twitter or anything. I really have spilled one drop of blackcurrant on me. Anyway, ping me ideas for food you'd like to see me do. Um, because at the moment, I know nothing. We could look into, like, at the moment, the first thing that comes to my mind is Studio Ghibli foods. But that's just, that's just eggs, isn't it? That's just fried eggs and, like, bacon, I think. Um, but it's just animated really funnily. But, I mean, I guess we could still, even if it's food that exists, of course, yeah, we can't just make fictionary food. But it'd be cool to just, you know, um, make it the setups that they've got, you know? This is probably going to get me a chunk of copyright, so I'll be careful. But, um, have they got anything good? This is just them chopping up normal foods. Do they have anything else? Where's the big egg one? There you go. Uh, no, that's just that's just literally normal foods. Um, but we'll see. I, I think that'd be really fun to do. Um, on top of that, my girlfriend is streaming a lot more. Just streaming. She always streams a lot. Um, but we'll be doing more streams. She will be doing more streams at the time that I'm cooking. So it could very well be that we will do a cooking stream for her. It will be the meal will be for her in the future. Um, and then, but you get to see the behind the scenes and then we'll raid her at the end of the stream and then it will be me showing up with the food that you just watched me cook. I think that's a really, that's a really fun idea. Um, I'll have to see other spins on movie content, but that's definitely an idea. Make Breath of the Wild food, that is definitely on the list. You are absolutely, yes, yes, easy, sorted. There's a lot of video game foods to pick from, so we'll probably start with that. There's also another thing, hey, any Pikmin fans still in the chat? I my my eight my eight old channel was Pikmin stuff. I've always in Pikmin games. I'll briefly cover you on it. So Pikmin is what I used to do content on. There is a Piklopedia in there. They make food basically. There's enemies in this game, and there's a character that canonically eats them all, and he tells you how to cook them into recipes. I can make those recipes now. I mean, one of them's literally like um, dice and roast a tongue of this massive beast. If I actually get a cow tongue, or, or some other tongue, it's a bit gross, I'll admit, and actually follow the rules, I can try it. No one's made Pikmin food before, and I will absolutely hop on that, because I just genuinely want to. There'll be a long list of things we can make, but hey, Pikmin fans, we can make it. Pokey curry, that'd be pretty cool. Personally, not a fan of curry, but I, I'll make it anyway. I think I'm really excited for that. That's a really good idea. Um, if you have things you want to submit to me, because I will likely forget all of these, um, although I'll also be doing my own research, um, we should, um, I'll look into it myself, but also, feel free to let me know on Twitter. Oh, this is an almost fitting piece of music. It's, it's not quite the cooking theme, but yeah, that's something I'm super into. Um, is there anything else I can tell you now that's not too invasive? Let me see if I've written it down. Uh, no, no, I only wrote that one. Um... Yeah, so what I've basically shown you at this point, I haven't shown you the new house yet. I might show you a couple pictures, but yes, we have a new decoration. We'll have a new setup. I'll be resyncing audio. How wonderful to know the admin. Doing cooking streams, doing, yeah, video game streams. We've got four different types of streams coming in the future. Um, three of them will be available in the second half of August, and then the fourth one will activate in, Aug in September even should be a lot of fun. I'll be streaming a lot more, a lot more hours so that you can just be on Twitch in your own time and I'll be here doing things. Sometimes it's gaming, sometimes it's hanging out with other friends because I should probably do that. I don't have many right now. I, I'm fine, but you know, lockdown. Um, and then hopefully we'll try and find more angles to tackle movie stuff because I don't know movie streamers and I would like to like create a formula essentially, uh, which would be really fun. Do cooking mama food. That'd be cool. Um, could even get uh, Kezuchi playing the game, meanwhile I am making it in real life. That'd be cool, like a little... <gasps> the cake from Portal? Absolutely, that's very good. I like that. 
um, all sorts of stuff. And also, I imagine it would be just a segment of a stream. It might be we'll still have a stream before it and a stream afterwards, but when I need a break to eat dinner, we'll just cook and you can be there. It makes the content more long lasting. Minecraft food IRL, I do not plan to eat raw zombie meat, I'll be honest, but sure, we'll, we'll give it a go. Um, but yes, um, I will definitely be looking into that. I think that could be a lot of fun. And it seems like there's a bit of interest there. Um, don't quite know how exactly I'll set it up yet, like whether it'll be we have music playing, cooking music as I just do it, or if I'll be chatting. I don't know the correct system. I've seen the big IRL YouTubers do cooking content and it's kind of dry. It's just audio and it's just like a fans fading as they're just rattly tattling in a bowl, but you know, we can, we can make it work. Um, I think it'd be very cool anyway, however that works out. Um, but yeah, it's good to hear that you're invested because I, I just think it's a lot of fun. That is really, really good. Ah, that was what was on my mind. Let's see if I can make this work. I have to be awfully careful here. Um, because obviously, don't want to dox myself. But I am going to be careful. We might do a house tour video. Um, but obviously, don't want to reveal exactly where I live, you know. Not a good idea. Not a good look, I'll be honest. I'm also trying not to like make my reflection in my glasses <laughs> show up being extra careful but it's fine don't mind me just looking a tad suspicious try to if i've got any good shots to show you that don't like reveal uh, the outside of the place so um here should i show you this can i show you this yeah, i can show you i'll show you like one-off images yeah so do food of yourself i'll keep that in mind it's lagging is anyone else getting lag um just let me just double check that real quick why are you the thing sticking out? Quick actions, what? You, you don't even work. Get out of here. Uh, it says it's excellent on my end. How are people... Oh, I see. It is lagging. I don't know why. It looks fine on my end. Um, although maybe it's because I just made it super big. Is everyone else seeing lagging? Yeah. Okay, that's so strange. Never mind. Hold on. Um, what can I do to fix that? I don't know. Let me put us to this real, sick, real quick. It might... Uh, it could be that uh, Kezuchi is... Um uploading something right now is possible there is uh nothing else telling me that i'm dropping frames that's so strange well we'll have some music we'll just chat here where it looks less broken how's that sound we get a bit of time to chill with some rainy sands music in fact here i'll even make it a little bit more uh audibly uh pleasing in a second might just be video not audio interesting uh, well, the audio, yeah, the audio doesn't sound, seems fine to me. Does it sound fine to you? It's audio and video. Really? I got you. Nope, that's not the sound we need. We don't need an advert right now. <laughs> um, let's see what I can do to fix it. But hey, we're just on a, on a, on a chill break right now. <laughs> Hello, Wolf Crafter, mate. How you doing? How are you? I'm very good. We're currently having technical issues with a little bit of rain, but it's fine. I thought it might add to the sound a little bit. Um, I'll tell you what, if you guys have suggestions, I got my notepad. You can't see it, but I'm right here. So let me know. You're going to go now, movie lover? That's absolutely fine. That's, that's, that's cool. We'll be here again, same time next week. And then after that week, we're going to be streaming all the time. Um, I'm literally going to be setting up a regular 12-hour stream slot at some point. So I'll, I'll be about. I'll definitely be about. So looking forward to seeing you next time for any new trailers that uh, come out. Can you post the recipes in the Discord? That's a great idea. Yeah. All right. Um, I was also thinking, actually, we might do a poll just before a cooking stream so you can decide closer what could it be. We'll be like, right, they've got three options. I need to go buy the items. What do you want to see? That'd be cool. Um, yeah. Cause like, yeah, my stream is telling me that there are no issues. Um, so I think it's something we just have to ride out a bit. I do apologize. The audio is actually cutting out though. That's so shame. That's such a shame. Um, let's see. What can
can I do to fix this? Like, is there anything I can actually poke about? Um, ooh, let's do that. Um, make it a little less intensive on my computer. I'll close everything that is irrelevant. Maybe it was that. Maybe it was Google. That was doing that. No, no, that's still going to be going. Love that. <sighs> You're also good just finished dinner? Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, it's long past dinner time for me. It's quarter to ten, unless that's what you've been going with. Uh, can you give some tips on how to be comfortable... How to be comfortable while moving? Uh, not really. Do you mean like moving houses? I don't have much advice there. You're either comfortable or you're not, really. you just got to be planned and it might chill you out. <laughs> I'm not actually on the Discord. Let me fix that. You absolutely better be. <laughs> um, I am a little... I've been meaning to like make some changes to the Discord as well, but I've been very busy with all the moving stuff. So, so that will be getting some changes too as well. Like a lot of the all announcements are only tweets at, right now. Ah! I see what our issue is. Not that it's necessarily fixable. Our bitrate... It's just randomly crashing. Why? Where even is my bitrate? Why is it not showing right now? It's there. Okay. Thank you for the follow on Twitter. I just got that notification. <laughs> Iris Moonstone. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, if the bitrate crashes, it just will. I think we just have to... Hold this out for a while. Let me hear my own audio, see how match is crashing. Yeah, if the bitrate crashes, it just will. I think we just have to hold this out for a while. Let me hear my own audio, see how match... It sounds... Yeah, it sounds kind of okay. Um, the Discord link in the bio doesn't work? What, like this one? Or do you mean like this one that you've now plonked up? That one works. It should be the same one. In the uh, what? So my Twitter bio one doesn't work. Really? I best get that fixed soon. The bot one does. Interesting. It should be the. That's the link I've been using forever. Then. Okay. Um. Hold on. Let me have a check of that then. Also, I've just realised this is a total great um life hack for when I want sound but not music in the background. I'll just add rain. Why not? It actually sounds quite pleasing. Um. What bio are you referring to? You're talking about like, because I've got a Linktree bio. Uh, oh, do you mean on like my, my Twitch? I, that would make sense. My Twitch bio? I have a lot of bios. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. But no, I actually quite like this uh, this aesthetic. Is there another? Is there another good weather sound that's not, or like another good ambient sound that isn't rain? Oops. Um. Yeah, we don't have a, we don't have the, we don't have a, a bio link in the Twitch for Discord. Oops, let's not change that, please. Though I would like to make this change. Am I able to do that? Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Just below the stream alert sounds. Oh. Just uh, by the sound alerts. There's a lot of places. Twitch is hard to maneuver. There's a lot of low links to go to a lot of places and they'll kind of shuffle about. That's a shame. Um, oh, I can actually I can just fix that. I'll just use the Nightbot one to directly connect. It should it should be doing it already, but okay. What's so different? What's the, oops, what's the difference between the two? It's the same link. That's so odd. Hmm. I'll make a quick uh, adjustment to it. Anyway, <laughs> maybe it will somehow change everything. Oh, I know why. There's a space at the beginning. That was it? Oh. Man, I'm bad at Twitch. Just a single space bar is going to make that not function? And then it says page not found. Oh, well, that's great. Well, I'll fix that later then. I don't know what's going on. 
It is indeed V strange. Um, oh well. I'm still lagging. Oh, that's a shame. I think, um, I think it might just be a matter of, like, we've just, um, might just be summoned, like, someone's uploading right now. I mean, it is kind of like a peak time for the internet. Um, oh, I have access almost to really, really good internet in the new place. Like, fiber optic speeds. Like, or, I don't know if that's the correct term for it. But, like, it's, like, ten times better than my current. I told my landlord, hey, can we get this? And they were like, no, it requires an installation. You can use this one, which is what we currently have, which is the worst option in the house. And I'm like, oh. So that's fun. Maybe I'll transfer closer to time to another one that doesn't need an installation, but we'll see. I'm so upset. I have access to, like, essentially Google Fiber, but they won't let me have it. Um, oh, well. Yeah, damn landlords. I've got to I have to be my own landlord to actually be able to do anything. Love to actually be able to decorate walls without having to hide that I've done so. And I'd love to be able to use good internet for my job that requires the internet. But hey, we all ask for things, don't we? <laughs> right, I have written down what I remember of those cooking stream suggestions, but from the looks of things, uh, I mean, we've already been waiting it out for a while. I think I'm also ended like finished up on all of the content there is to say. You know, um, all of the the trailer elements are done. Um, I've given you a brief sneak preview of what is to come next, and we should be back on a regular schedule ish from now, and then exploding into a million things. Um, and I'm glad to hear that you, there is some hype for the for the cooking content. So I think. Um, Bit of a bit of a downer note with the technical issues, but hey, it's just very, very on brand. So I do think I'm going to leave the uh, the stream off here, um, and then hopefully in the next week there'll be more traders, and then we'll do this all again, maybe without the bit rate crashing on me randomly. But I'll fix that by the time I move to the new place. It'll be fine. Um, so thank you for joining me all the way up to this point. I do hope you've had a, a jolly good time. Enjoy this awfully laggy transition screen. I'm waiting for it to show up on my preview to see how it looks. Maybe it's because my preview is so big. Oh, wow, the actual transition part was pretty smooth. Ironic. But yeah, the tech gods just didn't want to see the new place. Absolutely. Oh, well, maybe I'll show it off next Wednesday. Um, yeah, or I'll just show you with my actual camera in the, the, the Monday after that. We'll see. Um, but thank you for joining me all the way up to this point, whether you've just popped in at the end or if you've been here the whole time. I appreciate you oh so very much, and hopefully... I've got all the more content to make things more convenient and entertaining for you in the future. But otherwise, yeah, have a good rest of the day to everybody else as well. I'm going to have an evening, as is time zones. But um, yeah, glad you got to catch me, and I'm glad I got to see some of you in text form. It's fine. For now, though, I'll end it off here. My name's been Daz. You didn't really care, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye, everybody. Have some music, and I'll... See you in a bit. I admit it's a bit of a weird music choice, but um, hey, it's what the random button gave me, so. And I will do those random sound effects and hydrates next stream, I guess. Sorry for the people I missed on that. <laughs>